All right, on the block today, we got my truck. I'll be showing you some stuff I did to it, things I did to upgrade it. Got back from my trip, had two packages in the mail. Got my upgraded gearbox inside there. Yep, the nice metal gearbox right there. Yep, and my steering axle. Metal steering axle, right inside there. Yep. Look at that angle on that steering now. Oh my goodness. That thing is awesome. Look at that. It's like a drifter. But yeah, just kind of an update. I didn't do any build videos on them. Because there's so many out there on the internet already. So I just went ahead and just put them on my truck. Fixed my truck back up to where it was. Had the toolbox back on it again. That way I could put my winches ESC and battery and all that stuff right inside there there's two batteries there's another ESC over here that one runs my winch got a whole nother controller for that let's see take off my, my chain that's my winch right there it goes to a piece of fishing string got the strongest thing for a winch I would say a little dirty under here I don't care though a little hot glue hot glued them right into place Took a regular servo, made it to where it didn't stop when it turned, and I just put me a piece of copper on there, screwed it right onto the end, and spooled me up some wire on it. Now, took a motor, cut the can end off, put it in my grill, then out my grill, there's a little hole. Well, look, and subscribe. <laughs> But yeah, I put the little can right out the grill. That way it don't hurt my grill whenever the line goes in and out and it don't cut the line. But yeah, there's my winch. But yeah, this thing is super heavy now. Weighs probably about, I would say a good 10 pounds. Good 10 pounds, easily. Every bit of 10 pounds now. Came in, it was probably about I don't know, six to five pounds somewhere in that area. Really, really light. Didn't really crawl all that great. But did all my modifications to it. Got my metal axle covers. The metal shafts came with it. And I got my metal axles down up in there. Can't see them. Anyway, metal gearbox. Whole upgraded metal gearbox inside there. Yep, I'll put I'll put a picture of of what I got right up here or something like that I'll uh, show you the parts that I got so that's just a look at it now we're gonna go outside and we're gonna give them a little run and check them out <laughs> All right, I'll come over here to the other part of the yard. I'm gonna try my kids' little beginner crawler track that I made for them. Check it out. You gotta go up the two little ramps, turn right here, get up onto the woods. You got a little rock pile to go over right there. You go across the wood and you come down the gate. Got a few little gaps in it, and then you're done. Didn't want to make it too complicated. It's for my seven-year-old, my four-year-old, so. Went ahead and made this, you know, about a month ago. I just hadn't put it on my channel yet. Hadn't really been, you know, had the time to do it or anything. Been busy with the family trip and stuff like that. And we was planning for it and everything else. So we're going to give this thing a go. All right. All right, here we go. Oh, we got a freak. 
restart. Got to restart. Got to restart. Got to get some back wheels on. Yeah. We got her there, fellas. Oh yeah. There we go. Nice and smooth, man. This, this gearbox is smooth as butter. Man, that thing's smooth. Up on this little wood a rooski right here. There you go. Another rock. Yeah. Yeah, that was perfect. Perfect. Alright, I'm standing back here because really I already know I'm gonna make it. So. There you go. Right down the other side. Nice. Nice. You gotta bring them on back around. We'll go around there. We're gonna see what we can do as far as getting up here. Yeah, let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do here. He's coming into the picture. Here he is. Oh yeah, let's see if we can get up this hill. Come on, buddy. Come on up here to the can. Oh, oh, I'm with, I'm with. There you go. Come on. Oh. Come on, get it. Different route this time. There you go. Come on, boy. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Yeah. Come on. Get up that hill. He's making it. He's making it. Come on, folks. Come on. Get him up this hill. I get it up this hill. You definitely got to drop a like on this video. Come on now. Come on. Come on. Oh. Oh, we rolled him over. <laughs> oh well. You ain't gotta like it if you don't want to. That's all good. All right, here's Devil's Peak. We're going to take this thing on. This is what we call it, Devil's Peak. This hill is as tall as me. <laughs> Literally. So, we're going to set you up. We're going to start winching up this hill. I got both my controllers out for my winch. There's my little winch controller. I used the factory WPL controller and all that to go in there. Just found smaller batteries for it so it would hide a little better. All right, we're going to get you set up over here and we're going to winch him up right up this hill. About a six foot tall hill. Well, Alright, here we go. We'll give it a shot. Try to make it up Devil's Peak. Already got the winch on. Got a little green light in the back window. I don't know if you'll see it or not, but it's there. Trying to get them up as high as we can get them. Then, 
we're gonna break out the winch on them. All right, here we go. Reset him. over here the other day. I don't want to come walking up on them and not see. Alright, I think we're good.
I don't think we're gonna make it today, Dale. Not today, buddy. Better look next time.